Hi, I'm Jessica Gway from KDKA TV News, and this is your KDKA News Now update. I've got your top headlines and the latest weather forecasts. President Joe Biden spent the day in Pittsburgh and East Palestine. He met with several local elected officials here before heading to the site of last year's train derailment. Megan Schiller spoke to people in the community about the visit. From protesters to environmental activists to people who've called East Palestine home their entire lives, everyone felt a little excitement in the air today. We spotted so many signs calling for action and others criticizing the delay in President Biden's visit. The president vowed Friday to continue to hold Norfolk Southern accountable and make sure the company cleans up the mess. But residents we talked with want to ensure the funding continues to flow, hoping for an emergency disaster declaration that will open up federal aid. They hope that will lead to the continued health monitoring and environmental testing they say the area needs so much. It's going to happen again somewhere else. What happened here was unprecedented and if it's not taken care of with this instance, when will it be taken care of? Will I be able to, you know, go on with my life and feel comfortable again? I mean, I hope so. I hope that this, t I love this town. I grew up here and it's, my kids grew up here and, you know, it's, I hope it goes back to the same way it was, but I, I, I don't know. I have my doubts. And now here's First Alert Meteorologist Ray Petlin with a look at your weather. You can see that this is a very large system. We're still at the beginning of it, and uh, these snow showers extend all the way back into Illinois, and this whole system has to make its way through here. Uh, Columbus is seeing it. Indianapolis is seeing it uh, just outside of St. Louis, and a heavy little band here is stretching right through uh, the South Hills of Allegheny County and right through much of, uh, of Westmoreland County. Greensburg's uh, report hasn't come in yet for this half hour, and uh, what's going to happen is we're going to see some snow showing up on that one here soon, but uh, snow showers pretty much from Pittsburgh Butler all the way back through Ohio as the system continues to move in and there's that heavier band. Let's get a closer look at it because inside this heavy band, there's even a, a smaller little part that has some heavier snow attached to it. This darker blue. So just north of Bethel Park, uh, south of uh, uh, the parkway, this is where we're seeing uh, some pretty good snowfall coming down. It's largely at the moment sticking to grass and elevated surfaces like car windshields, things that have uh, cooled off. But as the temperatures fall, this is going to have a better shot to stick to roadways, sidewalks and everything else. So just know uh, through the night we have more uh, snow like this waiting to move in and that's going to be with us uh, through the next couple of hours. And once we get to about eight, nine o'clock, this is where the heaviest of the snow is going to begin and that continues right on in towards midnight and from there we'll start to see these snow showers breaking up. So this is a situation with uh, the, the snow showers finishing up uh, early tomorrow morning for the most part, at least the accumulating ones. The leftover snow showers, those are going to continue through the morning hours, but I don't think those add up to anything more than a new dusting of snow. So just know that the bulk of these snow showers are going to, or the bulk of the accumulation is going to stick around for tonight. A uh, coating to two inches, not out of the question, from uh, areas of northern uh, Allegheny County up towards Franklin. Uh, once you get to Allegheny County, Washington County, uh, Armstrong, Indiana County southward, this is where two to four inches is not out of the question. Four to eight up in the ridges where those uh, uh, larger accumulations are. There's a winter storm warning till 7 a.m. Everyone else has a winter weather advisory till 7 a.m. tomorrow. So to summarize everything, the heaviest snow is uh, between nine and midnight. The accumulation snows are done by sunrise and then we see some scattered snow remaining tomorrow, but that's not going to be too much. Tomorrow will be a much colder day though. So tonight look for two to four inches for most people as that snow continues to come down 23 degrees for the low. So a colder night. We don't warm up too much tomorrow with highs near 30 and from there we're going to see these temperatures building up uh, to the mid to upper 40s for Monday, Tuesday and then even the 50s for Wednesday and Thursday of next week.